fans in attendance at the Malud Hadefi Stadium in Oran were treated to an entertaining evening of African football and Mali Angola drew 3-3 in the opening match of the Group D for the African Nations Championship, the Chan. At first half, a brace from Lorin de Ariello and a second half goal from Miguel Vieira for Angola were cancelled out by goals from Haidu Sinyako, Yoro Daibi and Usman Kolibali for Mali, who fought back for Mali to even things out and wrap up with an entertaining evening for the group game. So right now, to join us in the conversation about the exciting football we see in Algeria for the African Nations Championship is Nigerian sport journalist Oluwashino Okeleji joining us all the way from Algiers, Algeria. Thank you so much, Shino, for joining us on the show today. I must say, Happy New Year to you. It's great to be here. Nice to have you and always a pleasure to have you. But I must start with a jab for you. How do you feel about Nigeria not making it to the African Nations Championship this year? I think um, Nigeria tends to have a system that they take two breaks away from the chan. They come back to, two times and then they go another two breaks. So obviously it's sad because people ask you here, Nigeria is a great footballing nation. Why are they not here? Mm -hmm. It's because they are not good enough. That's why they're not here. Hmm, straight to the point, hitting the nail on the head. But we saw a report of um, a, a repeat of 2010 in yesterday's game. Yes, in 2010, African Cup of Nations. Remember that Angola and Mali, they finished 4 4. And in yesterday's game, we could see that the Malians have a way of replying or even coming back when Angola strikes. So, which of the teams in Algeria have given us an entertaining match so far? I think you can look uh, further than those two you mentioned. Uh, Mali came back uh, from a, an, an Angolan dominant in the first half. They bounced back in the second half. And it tells you the story of the Eagles of Mali. Um, like you said, at the AFCON itself in 2010, we saw them play out an incredible 4-4 draw. Uh, Mali then was being um, you know, managed by a um, Nigerian great, um, the late Stephen Keshi. And that was exactly what happened yesterday. And we saw both countries... They had a good control of the game. Both of them had a good plan and they dominated each other. You know, it was a game of two halves. And uh, Mali's comeback was being talked about here in Nigeria. You saw that you were seeing the news. People are talking about it. They said they've never imagined that. They never imagined that Mali could come back because they looked dead and buried. But they fought back. And um, those two countries are the two that have actually shown us in this tournament that um, they mean business and um, they really have the quality um, to, to go into the next round. Okay, so far, covering the events there, what, what will you say have been your observations about um, Algeria hosting African nations at the Chan? I think it's been amazing. Um, surprisingly, I flew in from Paris and I saw that uh, the ambience, the, uh, the environment, everything um, within um, Algeria was ready for this tournament. Algeria is a great footballing nation. The country hasn't hosted any major tournament in the last three decades. I think it was Algiers 90 that, um, that they hosted in 1990, um, the African Cup of Nations. They haven't really hosted a major footballing event. And even though it's just the Chan, people will say, oh, it's just the Chan. Um, you see in Algiers, um, in Anaba, in Constantine, and even in Oran, you see that people actually came out in numbers. Uh, on mass. you see people coming out. Also, the facilities here are absolutely top-notch. Um, the stadium yesterday in Oran, where um, we, we saw that, that thrilling game you mentioned, um, is one of the finest. I understand it was um, it was built for the Mediterranean game. So Algeria looked ready, prepared, and everything so far, everything is looking great. Okay, we will not um, leave you without um, talking about the whole saga between Morocco and Algeria, the host nation. Yes, you said they looked like they were really prepared for this competition, but... Confederation of African Football and the president of the side, Dr. Patrice Musepe, tried all they could to make sure that they solved the issue between Algeria and Morocco to allow them to um, attend the event as the defending champion, of course. But all these trials to no avail. Does this expose CAF's inability to handle issues bedeviling African football? Because that has been the pointer or with all that happened between Algeria and Morocco. I think this is more of a um, you know diplomatic role it has nothing to do with football it goes mm. it, has, it goes beyond football and there was absolutely nothing CAF could do at this point mm. um the CAF president patrick mosepe spoke to morocco spoke to algeria but it appeared both of them were ready to go all the way i mean the the diplomatic problem that they are having um started from 1974. Mm. so this was way before this present CAF and all that so it's just unfortunate um, that they always say to us don't mix sports and politics but in reality 
you cannot separate both sports and politics. And unfortunately, Morocco are the defending champions, two-time defending champions. They are not here. Um, it's put the to uh, tournament in proper turmoil, but CAF couldn't do anything about it. CAF president, like I said, I feel, I think sometimes we are quick to flog the organizers. We are quick to flog CAF with a cane and a stick and, you know, do that. But these are two countries that are fighting for a strong cause mm -hmm. and none is ready to just, um, you know, appeal to the other one to say, you know, we'll come and all that. Um, Algeria, we're not letting, we're not letting, going, we're not going to open their airspace for Morocco. Morocco knew this and they were just playing the game and everything. So in this case, it's very difficult. The, state, the, the, the statement of um, Mandela's grandson, Mdala Mandela, coming here to make political statement. Algeria are now saying in their news here that even during the last tournament of the women, the WAPCON, mm. a Moroccan singer made the same political statement yeah. and there was no war or there was no concern. So I think this is just one that I'll have to sit out because when it comes to politics, you can't win. In football, you can decide three points, but in politics, you can't decide three points. Okay, we'll wait and see. Thank you so much, Oluwashino Okeleji, for joining us today on the show. We appreciate your time Thank on the show.